certainly it's been, uh, you know, seven years. We've done, uh, we've grown as a program, and certainly, you know, we're starting to reap the benefits of it. Uh, you can see where our players and are starting to get recognized a lot more, and, and to go from really struggling to having a clean sweep for the season is, is something to really be proud of, and the team uh, has really bought into what we're trying to do, uh, and for, uh, you know, we're looking forward to getting to the tournament. For of us that you know, for the, for the people that are not familiar with your tenure at Alabama State, uh, talk about some of the years you've had in the past and comparatively to, to, to this one uh, as you enter this 2013 tournament. Well, early on, we uh, certainly, you know, we definitely struggled uh, from a facility standpoint to a player standpoint. As the university's grown and made a commitment to women's soccer by by way of uh, facility all the things that it takes to compete at this, at this level. Uh, the program has grown from uh, really a small uh, program to, to now uh, be able to reach out, we're able to recruit uh, nationally. And uh, we're starting to see, get into people's homes that we didn't before just by the success of the program. You got Arkansas Pine Bluff tomorrow to open up the tournament. Uh, your thoughts on your opponent, first round opponent? Well, when you get in the tournament time, anything can happen, you know, uh, before when uh, you know we were the, the four seed, that's what we talked about. You know, we just got to get in, and that anything can happen. So our team's aware of that, and uh, you know we're going to play each game uh, as if it you know, and it will very maybe where will be our last game, and uh, you know take one step at a time, and hopefully we wind up on Sunday. Well, obviously it's just it's really exciting. We we are definitely pleased to be here. It's something that we've been working for since last spring. Uh, it started with the uh, coaching staff. We've been working on getting really good recruits in, and then it was all about uh, establishing a, a winning culture. And I think um, everything that we did in training from day to day to how we approached games and non-conference and our conference rivals prepared us for this moment today. So we're just really excited to be here. Winning culture is important. At what point in the season? that it appears if you guys could put this thing together and perhaps win the division. I think it was in our first non-conference uh, tie against the University of uh, Louisiana at Lafayette. They're a strong powerhouse and a non, uh, strong non-conference division. We uh, managed to get a tie in that game, um, and that was with actually having some starters now um, that were sidelined due to injury. So when that opportunity or when that option happened, um, I think we, had, we showed ourselves that uh, we have the ability to be successful. It just also, uh, we need to do some more work um, to, to make sure that we were prepared for conference. And then as we got some of those players back from injury, it, it just gave us not only the physical spark on the field, but the mental and, and psychological spark that we needed to be successful. What's the biggest thing you have to do in terms of preparation when you're getting ready for a first round game? Um, I, you know, we just talk about taking it and want to know. That's our motto um, here at Southern University. Go one and zero, prepared for every opponent the same way. So even though the girls in the back of their minds, including the staff, we know that it's a big game. You know, win or go home, we keep the preparation the same. Just handle the um, the opponent that we're dealing with right in front of our that that same day and treat it just like any other game and, and let the best team win.